Merini bought 4.0 run by Chinese tech giant Baidu. He started to be in the same league as industry's darling chatbot GPT-4. Unveiled in October and launched to paying subscribers in November, Erini 4.0, an upgraded version of Baidu's first chat GPT computer. Yeah, it's not inferior in any aspect to GPT-4, Baidu's billionaire CEO Robin Lee has said. We tested each board by entering written prompts in its primary language. Erini is mainly designed to be used in Chinese. Though it can handle English queries at a less advanced level, GPT-4 is optimized for use in English, but it can also take questions in other languages such as German. Erini beat GPT-4 on certain prompts such as those related to current affairs. The Chinese bot knew that Taylor Swift is now a billionaire. That China had recently removed its defense minister and that friends star Matthew Perry had died. GPT, meanwhile, had outdated answers to these questions stating that there were no widely reported instances of an American country singer becoming a billionaire and no reports of any cast member from the television show Friends passing away. It named a former official when asked who China's defense minister was. In each answer, the bot said it was relying on information from April 2023, the month its database was last updated. OpenAI, the owner of GPT-4, has acknowledged the needs to expand its knowledge base, saying in November that a new version will incorporate more information than its previous model. We are just an annoyed as all of you, probably more, that GPT's knowledge of the world ended in 2021, CEO Sam Altman quipped at the company's first developer conference last month. CNN gave Erni and GPT a few simple tasks. The takeaways you cannot go wrong with other. No one assignment. We asked both boards to help a hardworking graphic designer ask their boss for a raise. Each outlined compelling arguments in prospective emails, pointing out the employee's contributions and requesting a meeting to discuss the matter in person. In some Respects, Erini seemed to know how to read the room better, suggesting the user take note of the mood at the company or other relevant factors such as budget constraint. GPT, on the other hand, shared a strong practical tip, arguing the staffer to include a document highlighting their recent achievements.